Hey guys, today's going to be a great video. Uh, today we're going to talk about the DJI X3 gimbal firmware upgrade so that you can put your camera now from your Inspire onto your Osmo. Stay tuned. First off, just going to talk a little bit about the DJI firmware upgrade in general and everything that it releases. In the notes that it says is the fixed battery level fluctuation issue. Now, I dealt with this issue when your batteries are sitting in the case and they decharge. You take them outside, it says they still have 60%, but right as you get into the air, it blinks and automatically lands itself. So it's giving you a false reading. So supposedly that is fixed. The X3 gimbal is now compatible with the Osmo. They do tell you to upgrade the X3 on your Inspire first before you put it on your Osmo and don't do the upgrade there basically. The follow me feature now supported in intelligent flight mode. I'll have to test that one out and make a separate video. Optimize HDR performance. Cool. The next is adjusted video storage rate to 60 Mbps at 1080-60 and 40 Mbps at 1080-30. Sweet. Um, added a feature to smooth the pitch, roll, and yaw movement on the X3 gimbal. Smoother video, I guess. Only access for data in the flight controller. All right. Last one is optimized sampling methods for the DJI position system to improve its stability. All right. Now that we've talked over that, let's talk about the Osmo. All right, so after doing your upgrade on your DJI Inspire, obviously you take off the gimbal here. When you install it, if you already have an Osmo, uh, you do not line up these white lines anymore on this. They actually put it backwards, because you can see the ports on the inside that uh, the little locks go into. Drop it in, white line facing out. Turn the lock just how you normally would. There you go, it's on. In the notes, they recommend that on your first use with the X3 gimbal, you go into settings and you do a gimbal calibration, kind of calibrate it back. But we'll go ahead and do that now. With the app open and it's running, we're gonna go ahead and click on settings, gimbal, scroll all the way to the bottom and go to gimbal auto calibration. Press start, okay, and it should do a funky little dance. Oh my gosh, it works. That's so crazy. Everything is working perfectly fine. Got full control over that. You see the readout perfectly on my screen still. Yep. yep. Everything's working. Cool. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put it back onto my Inspire because some worked and they flipped the image uh, or before the update. So I just want to you know, verify that it fully does work. Lift off. All right, gimbal's upright. And it is working perfectly. Go ahead and all right guys, so the gimbal does work, works good on uh, my Inspire. The only thing is that it did turn off my uh, function. I had this button preset saved to where I press the button and I move the camera control and it turns side to side. So the update will not save some of your uh, saved preferences. So I just need to go ahead and go back and do that. Um, I did check if the gimbal does move over and it does perfectly fine. Um, so I just have to go and reset it and do all my stuff again.
another thing I noticed um, while using it outside is that it works almost flawlessly. Um, there's just a couple times where I was aiming down and I came up real quick and the camera flipped around. Hit it twice, it goes straight forward, no problems. I mean, it's going to have its quirks for now. If you already have an Inspire, I, I recommend that you just go buy that just the handle. Um, I, I was going to, and the firmware was never coming out, so I was like, screw it, and I just went and bought the Osmo. I'm glad I did, because now I don't have to switch cameras. But still, the capability for travel and you know small little gigs is unbelievable. And another thing is it also does, the, the X3 gimbal on the Osmo will do 120 frames per second. I don't know if they're going to come out with a firmware for the Inspire uh, to do that. I mean, I don't. I should check probably right now, actually. But I was actually very shocked to see that on there. And I will be coming out with a video after this one um, comparing the cameras side by side, doing the same thing. Um, so stay tuned for that. Go ahead and comment, like, and subscribe. See you guys later.